Migration has shaped South African society and economy. South Africa's economy is the strongest in the region and also offers progressive refugee protection. It is a hub for mixed migration, mostly from neighboring countries. In recent years, more women and children than men travel to South Africa in search of a better life. African women are migrating to South Africa more than ever and they are doing it more independently than before. Migration has substantial development potential for women and for the countries they come from and go to. However, South Africa's restrictive migration policies for people from other African countries reduce these benefits. With fewer legal pathways, corruption and black markets can take hold. Detention and deportation are ineffective at stopping migration. Instead, they push people to illegal immigration. This puts women at risk for abuse, violence, and exploitation at all stages of their journeys. South African authorities believe many migrants are scamming the system. The result is migrating men and women are viewed as frauds. This gender-neutral approach ignores the risks and realities faced by women, children, and refugees. For example, 80% of trafficking victims are women, especially the young and undocumented. African women migrants also face triple discrimination in xenophobia, racism, and misogyny. African women that want to migrate legally find there are no options for them if they do not have exceptional skills. Advancing rights-based, gender-sensitive migration policies and practices should be a priority. South Africa needs to consider the vulnerabilities of women when developing policies. It must stop criminalizing poor people and provide progressive migration options grounded in reality. Global policy developments, including the Global Compact for Migration, increasingly recognizes the important role women migrants play in development. South Africa must follow suit, honor these commitments, and consider the impact of women in all migration policies.